Welcome to yet another video on Power Automate Desktop. In this video, we shall see how to create a flow to extract a specific text from a PDF file and rename the file using the extracted text. Let's look at an example. On your screens, you can see a folder called Purchase Orders, which contains individual purchase orders in the PDF form. Let's open the folder. There are four PDF files. Each has a name, Purchase Order 1, 2, 3, and 4. We are going to rename each file as PO hyphen the individual purchase order number. To get the purchase order number, let's open a PDF file. You can see the purchase order number here. We are going to extract this number and prefix it with PO hyphen and rename the file. This process will be automated by creating a Power Automate desktop flow. So let's close this file for the time being and go back to the original folder. Let's copy this folder path as that will be required for creation of the flow. And for that, if you're using Windows 11, you can right click on the purchase orders folder, click on copy as path. Now let's open the Power Automate desktop app. So in the search window, I already see the Power Automate desktop app. Power Automate Desktop app comes pre-installed in Windows 11. Otherwise, you can download it from the Microsoft Store. In order to use the Power Automate Desktop app, you would need a school or work email address. Let's double click on the app. If you've created several flows, the My Flows page opens by default and you can see all the flows that you've created earlier. In case you are creating a flow for the first time, the landing page would be the home page. To create a flow, let's click on New Flow. We have to give a flow name. Let's call it Extract Text and Rename File. Click on Create. The Power Automate Editor opens up. You can see all the actions on the left pane. In the middle pane, we can create a flow. We can create input or output variables, and those will be displayed here. All the flow variables created by each action in the flow will be displayed here. The first action would be to get all the file names from the folder. For that, we have to go to the folder actions. If we expand folder actions, we can see many actions. What we want is get files in folder. So let's drag this action and place it in the main area. This will retrieve a list of files in a folder. If you want more information, you can click on More Info. When I hover the mouse here, you can see choose the full path of the folder or a variable containing the folder to retrieve the list of files from. We've already copied the path. I'm going to paste it here, Control v but we don't want the opening and closing double quotes, so let's delete them. Now, let's go to the second box, File Filter. In this, we have to choose a filter to limit the files retrieved. This allows wildcard, for example, start.txt, document, question mark, dot doc, and so on. So in case your folder contains many files other than the PDF files, you can restrict this flow to PDF files by typing after star.pdf. There are no subfolders. Then expand this. In case you want to sort these files in any order, you can sort them. Let's close advanced. The variable produced in this step is called files, which would contain all the file names, including extension. Now let's click on save. This is the first action. If we run the flow at this stage, we shall get a flow variable called files, which contains the names of all the files. So let's run the flow. Under the flow variables, you can see the files variable. Expand this and click on view and you can see all the file names with extension. Let's click on close. The next step is to extract text from all the PDF files. As there are four PDF files, we are going to create a loop first so that each file will be read one after the other till the last file is reached. In order to search for loop actions, let's type loop in the search actions box and we can see all the loop actions available. Let's use for each. For each loop iterates over items in a list, data table or data row, allowing a block of actions to be executed repeatedly. 
so this action will iterate over all the files in the folder so let's drag this action and place it below get files the value to iterate will be the flow variable which is produced as a result of the first action the flow variable in this case is files to get files let's click on this x mark when i hover the mouse over that you can see select variable and we can see the variable name files let's select this click on select and we get the variable each file name that is read will be stored in a variable called current item by default but we can change this so i'm going to click on this and edit it as file so the details of each file that is read will be stored in this variable called file let's click on save now for each file and files we have to specify all the steps that are to be performed on each file the next step is to extract text from each file that is read so in the search actions box let's type pdf drag the action extract text from pdf within the loop the first option is pdf file and we have to specify the pdf file to extract text from enter a file path or a variable containing a file or a text path the pdf file is available in the file variable so let's click on this button and select file this variable will contain the file name that is currently read so let's click on select and pages to extract our pdf file contains only one page so we can use all otherwise if your purchase order numbers are contained on a specific page you can select a single page so i'm going to select all now if you expand advanced you can see a password box in case your file is locked you can provide the password to open it the variable produced by this action is called extract pdf text we are fine with that so let's click on save if we run this flow we will get the variable extracted pdf text so let's run the flow and view the extracted pdf which will contain the extracted details of the last file that is read you can double click on this expand this and you can see all the extracted text the extracted value at the moment is in the form of a single document but we want to split this extracted text into individual lines so that we can extract this purchase order number from this line for that let's use the split text action so in the search actions let's type split and you can see the split text action the split text action creates a list containing the substrings of a text that is separated by a specified delimiter or a regular expression so let's drag this below extract text from pdf but within the loop the text to split is in the extracted pdf text variable let's select the variable by clicking on this button select extracted pdf text click on select the delimiter type let's use standard standard delimiter let's expand this and select new line so the entire text will be split into several lines times let it be one all the lines extracted from the extracted pdf text will be stored in this variable text list click on save let's run the flow at this stage and look at the text list variable double click on text list variable and you can see the index number for each line we can refer to the line that we want by adding the line number after the variable in square brackets the line that we want is 6 purchase order number 914268 we can refer to this line 6 by suffixing the text list with the line number in square brackets so we will refer to this line as text list within square brackets 6 we will do another split text action on this line so that we can extract this number close this for the time being let's drag and drop the split text under this and this time the text to split will be let's click on this button and select text list click on select but what we want is only the sixth line of the text list so let's suffix text list with square brackets 
6 and square brackets because the purchase order number is in line 6. Now the delimiter type is the standard delimiter. You may recall that the different components of the purchase order number are separated by a space. So the standard delimiter in this case would be space and times will be 1. The variable produced by this action would be text list 2. Let's double click and rename this as PO number. The variable names cannot have spaces in between. So we have to type the name continuously. Let's click on save. Let's run this flow and see the result of the PO number variable. Double click on PO number variable. We can see that the line 6 has been split into four parts. At the space delimiter, the line that we want this time is line number 3, which is the purchase order number. We are going to rename the file as PO hyphen this purchase order number. Let's close this. Now let's see how we can rename each file. For renaming a file, let's search for file actions. In the search actions window, let's look for file. We are going to use the rename files action. Let's drag it and drop it under the second split text within the loop. The file to rename is in the variable file because that is the current file that is read. Let's click on this button and select file, rename scheme, set a new name. There are other options as well. We are going to set a new name. The new file name, we have to start with the letters PO hyphen. After that, we have to give the purchase order number, which is available in the third line of the PO number variable. So let's click on this button, select the PO number variable. Click on select and we have to edit this by suffixing PO number with square brackets, three close square brackets. The only thing we need to be mindful of is the indices that we type here should be before the closing percentage symbol. We don't want any variable to be produced at this stage. So let's expand variable produced and turn the toggle switch to off. Now let's click on save. At the moment, you can see that these are the names, purchase order 1, 2, 3, 4. And after we run the flow, we should get the result PO hyphen purchase order number for each file. Now let's run the flow. Click on the run button. You can see the flow running. The flow has finished running. Now let's go to the folder and see whether the files have been renamed correctly. We can see that all the files have been named correctly. Let's verify whether this naming is correct. So let's double click on the last purchase order. The purchase order number is 914286 and we see that the file has been named correctly. You need to create this flow only once and you can apply the flow on invoices or purchase orders or any form that has a uniform structure. To save this flow, click on save. Let's close this editor. We can see the new flow that's created. We can run the flow from here or we can edit the flow by clicking on the edit button. If we expand this, you can see rename the flow, create a copy, delete and properties as well. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content, including 35 exclusive videos on Power BI PL300 certification exam. Please subscribe to our channel. And while subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all options so that you shall be notified as soon as we upload new content in our channel. We are very grateful to our subscribers and viewers for their continued support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.